Hey everyone, welcome back. Myself, Mohammad Rizwan Khan. Welcome to Coding Insanely. Today, we are going to pick another Microsoft interview question, which is image slider implementation or carousel component. So if you don't know what is image slider and carousel component, I will show you the example. You just visit any e-commerce website and there you can see the example of carousel component very easily. So here we have one example, right? So you can see the images. These are called slides, which are sliding from right to left auto automatically yeah, that there is a kind of like delay in slide movements and we have two buttons so this is the forward button and this is the backward button on press of these buttons the slide will uh, slide from right to left and on press of the backward button slide will slide from left to right here we have indicators which highlight the position of the slide uh, which slide is currently on okay let me show you if i press the backward button it will slide back like left to right right it is sliding and you can notice the indicator is changing whenever i'm pressing the back button so this is an example of of uh, image slider or the carousel component let's understand our question requirement okay so let's come over here and here we have on press of forward button image will slide right to left and vice versa so if i press the forward button image will slide right to left right right to left and on and vice versa means if i press the backward button it will slide left to right and on press of forward button on last slide let's say we are on our last slide and i'm pressing the forward button it will switch to first image and vice versa so if i'm on last slide and i'm pressing the forward button it will switch to the first slide and if i'm on first slide and pressing the backward button then it will switch to the last slide right and you can add slide indicators to highlight slide position okay so basically here interviewer will be sharing you something like this where we have this function component app which has this text uh, and this carousel component with a data and a width and a height so that it can be like configurable right and we have this data which has nothing but it is array of objects with an id and image url right so we'll be using these images for our slides and then inside this we have this carousel and here we have our carousel component if we go to the index.js file so here we have our carousel and it has nothing just section inside this we have import uh, statement with a style carousel style.css and here we have nothing again so we will be doing our code in this carousel component right and we, we can configure our width and height whenever we want right so let's come to this index.js file and see okay now i will be doing the basic setup of carousel right and placing the images meanwhile you can listen to the background music Okay, here I'm done with the basic setup of carousel component, right? I can see all of my images. Uh, all of these images are coming from this data variable, right? App.js. And here we have all of these images, right? Let's go to the index.js file and and let's add some styling and place some width and height. Again, you can lessen the music. Hey, I'm back again. So here I'm going to tell you why I've written my CSS like this. So this is our parent component, right? Parent uh, element with a class carousel container. I've given a width and height of 500 by 300. It's because I have app.js and the here width and height is 500 by 300. So this is configurable, uh, but this one is the default one, right? I have to see something. So that's why I've written 500 by 300 as a default width and height. Overflow is hidden. All of my slider images inside this container, but it's not visible because of the overflow hidden. Then I have a uh, one more children inside that, which is carousel image wrapper. It's because I want to make my uh, parent of the sliders a flex container so that i can move my images from left to right or i can place my images next to each other okay that's why it is there and we have these uh, these are the children of this image wrapper so i'll be calling it as like uh, flex items and this is the image again within height is 100 100 so it is going to be uh, take 100 pixel by 300 pixel and i've used object fit cover so that i can maintain the ratio of the image according to the size ratio of the container okay hopefully you got it let's continue and here we are
okay here we are done with the basic functionality of the carousel like on press of forward button images are changing but it's not the way we want like its images are not sliding it's because of css is missing but the basic functionality is done on press of forward images are changing on press of backward images are changing but we need to handle edge cases and we need to apply the animation the one way you can do you can just simply go to the style and here we are uh, this is our carousel image right this is a flex item and this is the flex container so we can say this entire thing is moving right if i see i show the transform properties on this casual image wrapper i can simply go and say uh, transition and uh, transform for 0.5 second easing out okay so transform property will animate now so i will show just okay it's animation animation is working but there's one problem uh, i will show you what is the problem if i go uh, to the last slide and blank it's because Correct index is on the position, like on the fifth position or fourth position uh, where there is no images, right? So we have to handle that edge case. Let's say if. Okay, now let's try. I uh, hope this is going to work. So press forward, forward, forward. Now we are on the last image. If I press again, all the way shifted back which is wrong the requirement is here uh, on press of the forward button on last slide it will switch to the first image and vice versa right but the behavior is it shouldn't be like that right going forward i'm pressing the forward button all the way back so we can stop the animation over here and we have to restrict this one we cannot use like this we'll use uh, javascript for that Okay, now see our problem solved or not so let's press forward forward now we are on the last image on press of this now we're back to the first image without any disruption right if we go back we are on the first image now without any disruption we are on the last image and we'll slide back to the first till the first image or wherever you want right and now we, we need to implement the indicators as well so in between the buttons i will be placing my indicators Okay, I'm able to change my slider with the help of indicators. Also, the background color black is not required. It, it was just for uh, helping us. Okay, let's move. And here it is. Okay, one thing we are forgetting, uh, we need to configure this width and height, right? So let's go to our index.js and here we are getting... Uh, Okay, so we have placed our width and height also. Let's see if it's working or not. So let's go app.js and let's say instead of 500, we'll say 600. And yay, it is working. So yeah, hopefully you like this video. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.